how to set up the rules for the filter. Okay, so um, from this view, from this view, I will go to the properties, okay, view properties, and then you can do the rules under this visible object group. So you must click this object group, okay? So once you click on this uh, object group, right? So there are uh, categories, properties, condition, and the value here where you can uh, assign uh, what is the rule in this particular uh, filter, okay? So what I'm going to do is I will click new filter, okay? New filter, and then, and then I'm going to add row. So this is how to create the rules. So um, at this point of time, our category will be part. So any part in this model, okay? So this part. Then, uh, uh, basically, under the cate category, you have a different uh, uh, choices here. But to th uh, this time, I will uh, select the part. And then, part what? What is the property of the part? Name. So, again, you can choose any uh, property here, like a profile, material, num start number, class, and so on. But this time, I will choose the name. What is the name? Name means uh, column, beams, footing, wall, and slab. So that are the name. It depends on uh, what name you input in your uh, in your uh, elements. Okay. Now condition. The condition could be equal, could be does not equal, and could be these other uh, uh, conditions. All right, and then. Uh, I will choose equal. So meaning, uh, the rule will be if if the part name is equal, equal to. So equal to what? So but you need to put the value here. So if you know already uh, what is the part name, you can just simply type in. Let's say column. You, you type in column, all caps. Make it sure that it's it will match to the name that you uh, specify in your element. Okay, so if, if you're not sure about typing the name of the column, all you have to do is just simply click here and then select from model. So once I click select from model, so I will uh, select this column. So automatically the name of this element will come in to the value. So meaning... My first rule here is the, if the part name is equal to column, then if I click modify, it shows only the column. Alright, so that, that's the first rule. So I will turn, I will remove the check, back, uh, the check on the box and then modify and then it will restore again to the original form. Okay, now we must save this one. We must save this one so that later we, all we have to do is to select that file name that we save and then we will have the filter okay now remember remember we do have uh, two different types of filter one is the view filter the one I've shown you is view filter and the other one is the selection filter now the rules that I have created in this view filter is the same rules that I can use in the selection filter so in that case, I don't need to repeat the same rule or I don't need to recreate the same rule in the selection filter. So what I have to do is, before I save, I need to expand this one, this option. Click this option and then you can see here, filter type in the model. So view filter, which is the one that I did. And then selection filter, that is the... Uh, uh, what I call that, the other type, the selection filter. I can also tick on the object representation because in object representation, I can also use the, the filtering enable for me to assign the, uh, the presentation of the object. Let's say I want the present, uh, this column to be, to be uh, transparent or to be color blue or to be color red. So that one is under the object representation. So I, I can tick on that one so that I can use the same rule from view filter, selection filter, and object representation. Okay, so 
all I have to do is just simply um, save this one. Let's say uh, uh, ns underscore column. So you can put any any uh, prefix, okay? So save us. So now, now that I save that one, uh, that one will be applicable also for my selection filter. So that's the first one. Then you can continue. You can continue. So let's say the next one is uh, select again from model. Then let's say click the footing. So I have the footing. So all I have to do is to change this one as footing. And then save us. So no need for you to close. So you just continue adding the, uh, the rules. Let's say this one. So wall. So NS wall. Save us. Again, save us to filter, selection filter, view filter, and object representation. And then uh, the next one is beam. Then this one is beam. Save us. Then lastly, the slab. So this one will be slab. Save us. So now that one will be added in my library. So NS beam, column, footing, slab, and wall. Okay, so all I have to do is to select that one like that. But okay, what if, what if in case that I want to have a multiple selection, let's say I want to select, I want to show only column and beam at the same time. So what, sh what shall we do? So all we have to do is to go back to this value and then multi-select from model. So meaning I can select the column and then the beam and then middle button of your mouse, then beam column will be there. Look, if I modify that one, so beam and column will be filtered. What if I don't want to show the column and the beam? All we have to do is just change the condition to does not equal. And then modify and it will not show the column and the beam. The, the remaining parts will be shown, but the column and the beam will, will not be shown. So that if I save that one, then I can also find that one here in the selection filter. Okay, let's try, I, I will uh, go back to the original, right? I'll cancel this one. So the reason why I cancel because it's, it's already saved there, okay? I will show you how to use it. Now, um, for the view filter, again, you go back to the uh, view properties. So the, the one that you saved earlier will be shown here. Let's say NS beam, beam filter. Modify, so all is shown beam. Uh, column, modify. All right, so, sorry. Column, okay, let's, I think I, ah, uh, oh, I removed the check on the column. So, save us. Okay, so modify, so column. And then footing. And then uh, slab. And then wall. So as you can see, I managed to show all the uh, the different filter according to the name. Okay, so let's say I, I'm going to show all again. All right now, how to use the selection filter? So on this uh, bottom bar, you can see the you can also see the the one that you save. So here NS beam. If I select NS beam, and then if I make a window, it will show only the beam. Now, to make it clear, I will press Control 5 so that it will be a ghost image. Image. So, if I select now, so this is the beam. Then I can easily get the report on that one. Let's say I want to, to get the, uh, the total uh, volume of the concrete for this beam. So, I can easily get it. So, if I want to, uh, to select the uh, NS uh, column, so here, select, it will show only the column. All right, so it's a matter of uh, creating the rules on this uh, uh, selection and view filter. Okay, so I will turn on the uh, uh, rendered view again. So that's uh, how you create the rules for selection filter and view filter. Okay, using our uh, filter, we, uh, we can now apply that one in our object representation okay since we have the uh, filter now so let's apply that one in the object representation so to apply that one 
you can go back to the uh, view filter, uh, view properties. Remember, uh, during the first day, I've shown you about this representation and then I, I told you that we're going to skip that one for the meantime. Then this is the time that we go back, okay? And also this view visible uh, object group, that is the filter that we skipped last time. So now it's time for us to apply the, uh, the filtering to our object representation. So if you may click on this... Uh, uh, representation so you can see here there there are uh, uh, object group color and the transparency so this is how you show your model or how you uh, uh, show the color or transparency of the model so what I'm going to do is there, there are there there is a default uh, uh, object group here that I'm going to delete but this all color by class visible must always be there okay but now I'm going to to add I'm going to add the uh, a row, okay? So let's say, for example, for uh, for this uh, additional row, I'm going to select the wall, okay? Select the wall. So look, for the wall, I can color by class or I can select. A color from the uh, 14 different col uh, 15 different colors of Tecla or I can choose from the color database to the, and define colors so here I can select any color that I want to use so even though this this one is color uh, green I can choose some other color here and then I will represent this one in my object representation Okay, so let's say I'm going to select this blue and then I will make it a little bit lighter for the wall. Huh? I'm talking about the wall and then click OK. So NS wall color is that color and then transparency. I can change that one to let's say 50% transparency. So meaning all the wall will be transparent. It's like a glass. Right? Right? So this is the uh, object representation. And Let's say all color by class. So meaning for all, I can also change the color for all beside the wall, right? So let's say I will choose another color for the for all. So let's say this. Maybe I'll try this one and then make it lighter, right? And then click OK. And that's the color for all beside the wall. And then the visibility or the, the transparency will be visible okay so if I'm okay with this one then I will type here NS colors and then save us right so if I can cancel and then here NS color and then modify there you go so now this is my object representation all the walls will be transparent like a glass and then all the all the elements will be color beige. Okay, so if you want to modify again, go back to the representation, and then here, uh, maybe I, I, I want to change also the uh, the color for the slab. So all you have to do is to add add row, and then this add row you just move up, and then this one I can choose again another color say this click OK and then this one will be slab and 50% transparency save us cancel and then modify now there you go so this is the uh, object representation so you're not only using the 15 colors available in Tecla, but you can choose a different color using the object representation at the same time using the filter rules.